In this problem, a child plays a game of chance. Each game is independent and the chance of winning is 60%. In each case, which is more likely or are they about the same? To win more than 55% in 10, 100 games or more than 55% in 1,000 games. So we need to always start off drawing a picture, okay? We know that the chance each time is 60%, okay? And we might try and play 100 times or 1,000 times, okay? On these, always, always draw a picture, okay? Because you know, starting off, like if I try just one time, I might be at, or let's say I try like five times, I might be here at like 65%, or I might get to 60%, I might get way down here. As you try it, you're going to get different amounts. You're not gonna get exactly 60%. You'll find that you'll go up, you might go down for a while, you might go up, you might go kind of like this. It's not necessarily a nice oscillating wave like I draw. That's not the important part. But the important part is you can bounce around a bit, but eventually, the more and more times you do something, the closer and closer you'll get to what you're expecting to get. So at 100, you might still be bouncing around. By the time you get to 1,000, you'll definitely be a lot closer. And now this is all relative. If you compare 5 and 100, you'll be closer at 100 than you are at 5. Okay. And so we want to be more than 55%. So here's my... 55% and I want to be above that. Okay. So at 100, notice that you might be above it, but you might also be below it and you don't want that. But by the time you get to 1,000, you're almost guaranteed to be above 55%. So you'll be more likely to be above 55% at the 1,000. Now for part B, let's say you want to win between 55% and 65% of the time. So here's your 60%, here's 100, here's 1,000. Again, you'll kind of bounce around in the beginning and you slowly get closer and closer and closer to what you're supposed to be. So if we want to be between 55 and 65%, well, when are you kind of guaranteed to be in that? Okay, at 100, you're probably in it, but oh, you might also peak out a little bit more. Whereas by the time you get to a thousand, you're almost guaranteed to be closer. Now, it does look like on all of those problems that the bigger number was the correct answer. That's not always the case, so I'll probably go add a new problem. Let's say you want to get more than 65 percent. Which one would be better? So here's your 60% you're supposed to be, here's your 100, here's your 1,000. So again, you always start off bouncing and get closer and closer. So if you want to be more than 65%, when are you going to be more likely to be more? So we want to be more. So we're going to want that beginning when you still have more variability because we're bound to eventually get to 60%. So if you want to be more, like far away from that, that's going to be more likely to happen at the small number. So 100 would be better.